Okay. Whenever you're ready, Thomas. Hello, my name is my name is Thomas Anwar, and I choose uh, those mu uh, music because uh, I, I mean I have chosen Bomale and uh, Tamarat and Teddy Afro and also uh, Alex because when I was in Ethiopia, uh, I was kind of you know interesting to like music you know the culture because that's part of Africa and then and then transition you know moving to US you know I was listening to Natasha Bedding Peel and uh, Natasha Bedding Peel and also Chris Brown and so I felt that you know coming here is awesome to learn about you know community about uh, Western culture you know to understand and so that's what I thought uh, that what was interesting, you know, for the culture, you know. Yeah. That's what I thought about. Mm -hmm. Totally. Okay. You good? Yes. Nice. What, three? Oh, hang on. Hang. Oh, okay. We're switching. It. One, two, three. Yes. So my name is Eric, and this is my songs in the key of life. Um, it's mostly blues uh, with uh, some Seattle artists in there as well. Um, I got Muddy Waters. He's not from Seattle. He's from Chicago. Or he's not from Chicago, but that's where he's uh, best known for um, being in the blues. You got The Doors. We were from Cali, and I just like that era of um, 60s and 70s music. That was very um, controversial for its time. Stevie Ray Vaughan here. He's one of the greatest guitarists uh, ever in my opinion, same with Jimi Hendrix up here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a big admirer of both of them. Um, the Man in Black himself, Johnny Cash. Uh, just because I don't listen to a lot of country music, but if I do, it's old school. Um, and I enjoy the stories that he would tell in his music. Uh -huh. Tupac, I mean, there's so much you can say about Tupac as far as like what he meant culturally. Um, not only to hip-hop, but the United States and, and particularly the West Coast as well. Um, California and LA was a, uh, a very heated place um, back in the 90s and stuff when he was still around. Um, and he spoke and wrote about very, <clears throat> excuse me, very serious issues um, that still hold strong to this day. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I still listen to him now. I got Cream on here because I'm named after Eric Clapton and he's also a great guitarist. Um, Nirvana, straight out of Seattle, well, Aberdeen, I guess. Gary Clark Jr., he's, um, he's, uh, he's a well-known blues guitarist now, um, and I think he has a very, very unique sound that he produces with his hollow body guitars, so I'm a huge admirer of that. Uh, who else we got here? I got a mixtape cover from uh, Machine Gun Kelly, the hip-hop artist. He's out of Cleveland. Um, I just grew or I just listened to him in like my later teenage years and early 20s and stuff like that. So he was um, he also talks about a lot of uh, controversial subjects like rape and stuff like that, mm -hmm. um, abuse amongst kids and also between families. And then lastly, this is uh, the album cover for a band called Wardruna. They're a Nordic folk band um, that I just started listening to recently. And I have no idea what they're saying in the lyrics and stuff. But it sounds amazing, and I enjoy listening to them uh, a lot. Um, I think you don't necessarily have to know the lyrics of the music to enjoy it, um, and you're able to interpret it in a different way. So awesome! Yeah.